Hi, uh, I'm Dani Solira from uh, North Solira Jiu Jitsu. I'm uh, here uh, with my brother Carlos Tadanado, former UFC fighter. We are here today at the North Solira headquarters in Livermore, California, to show you guys a uh, uh, knee bar from Half Guard. We, uh, we like to say that we support Sensor Kimonos. It's a really nice, really nice uh, armor for for Jiu Jitsu soldiers, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy the position. So let's get into it. So, you start the position from the half guard, right? So, a lot of times it's kind of like a, you don't have too much options uh, to, to get out. The guy has a really, really good half guard here. So, what I want, I want one hand on his hips, my palm feel the bone of his hips so I stay here I stay close of course I don't want to give you space right that's the main rule on on, uh, on uh, the ground game if I'm on top I close the space if the guy's on the bottom he's gonna try to get open for his space so I stay really close to him they have him here one hand on his hips the other hand right here on his biceps so I'm blocking his biceps because I don't want to let him get too close so I'm gonna get on my toes and I'm gonna jump. When I jump, I pop my knee out. He's still with the lock here, so my leg is still locked. But if you see, my knee pops up. So normally the guy thinks that you're going to underhook and you're gonna step to the side. What he's going to do, he's gonna to try to put his arm right here because he doesn't want to give me space to the underhook. So instead to go this way, all what I'm going to do, I'm going to spin this leg all the way across. When I spin, his leg is exposed here, but that's the cool detail on that position. Instead to go to his leg here, I'm going to grab his foot and I grab his knee. So I'm actually gonna lay back and I pull everything towards me. So when I pull everything towards me, I lock my triangle. Now I come to his leg. When I do this, and I have a knee bar right here. What I like at the end of this, this position is most of the people, they would go straight to the knee bar, but I'd rather get the leg that's on the bottom and I pull him to me because I get his hips off the ground, which is gonna make it easier for me later to go actually for the leg that I want, that the top leg. So again, from side control, I block his biceps, hand on his hips right here. I just put my palm like this, you don't need to even hold it, just the palm. So now, chest on chest, get on my toes, I jump, my knee pops right up. So when it pops out, I just go to spin. When I spin, I come here, one, two, and I grab everything. Now by grabbing, I just lay back, pulling him all the way for me, and then I lock my triumph. When I lock, now I just go to this leg, and then I have the knee bar right there. Detail here on the knee bar, guys. A lot of people, they try to do the knee bar like this or like that. I like to control the heel. Because by controlling the heel, you can control actually the direction of the foot and automatically the direction of the knee. So I just grab on the heel and I point it to me. That way I see that the knees line up and I can actually get the submission. It's kind of like the same thing when you do the bar that you learn when you first start training Jiu Jitsu to control the thumb, right? Put the thumb up, same thing with the heel on the uh, knee bars, okay? So I'm gonna do just one more time, uh, small, uh, normal speed, and you guys can see. Okay, so once again, Darwin Solira, Carlos Rocha, uh, we are here at the Dark Solira headquarters, Livermore, California, and that was uh, the position for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed, and remember, train, 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 and when you get tired, train a little more. Have a good day.